hey, let's make a battery pack. Uh, I just got home from work. I have eaten. I should be able to do this without losing focus. Um, here's all the stuff. I'm going to use the double-sided tape to stick the batteries together in a pack of three. I'm going to wrap Gorilla Tape around it. Um, then I'm going to wire up the connections in serial so that I have 36 volts because they're each 12 volt batteries. Then I'm going to snake off big long wires coming off of it with connectors so that I could plug it into the power connector on the motor. Yeah. They gave me the motor with these interesting watertight connectors but they didn't give me the other half because they wanted me to buy a battery and I said no. So let's have fun building battery packs. This is an outdoor mounting tape, so I wanted to get the strongest thing I could find. Press object firmly for 30 seconds. I think the weight of the battery will do that for me. Thirty six volt battery pack. Sealed lead acid, so I can lean it on its side, it's okay. They're not leaking, which is good. I've gotten so many chemical burns from messing around with all these batteries. Sulfuric acid is no joke. For some reason I just hate wearing gloves. Okay, that is decent. Decent enough. Like I said, these are temporary and they're free, so I really don't give a crap.
My teeth have always been the best wire strippers I have. It worked. These are charged batteries, so I'm trying really hard not to short anything. So now, I'm going to slide the red heat shrink over the blue wire so that I can tell it's the positive. And again, crimpy crimp. Crimping ain't easy. So that's it. I just need to jump. I just need two jumper wires. And there you go. So now that's a 36 volt battery pack because that's the negative and that's the positive. And these wires are going to come out. In the positive wire, in line, I'm going to wire a fuse box. That's where the 20 amp fuse is going to go. And I picked a 20 amp fuse not really based on any math. I know it sounded like I knew what I was doing, but I don't. I know that the speed controller on the motor is going to draw 18 amps at the most. 20 amps, just whatever. Probably don't even need a fuse. I did this because, I don't know, it was an impulse buy, so we're going to give it a shot. Arr. So much of what I'm doing is the wrong way to do this. Ow! 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 So there's no fuse in the box right now. It means it's safe to short it out. So this is pretty much safe right now. I need, I need thicker wire to make the battery wire. There's the battery pack in the bag and now magically zipped up. And eh, weighs about 20 pounds. So it's nothing to laugh at. Actually, this is like going to be me riding a regular bicycle about seven months ago. But I've lost a lot of weight. It's going to be, let's see, about a 10 pound motor, 20 pounds of battery. Yeah, and I've lost about 30 pounds at this job I have. So, you know, and I was able to ride a bicycle to and from work a couple times uh, when I was heavy. Here's my bike sitting in my room. The wheels taken off, ready to be worked on. I'm just waiting for the. Uh, cheap universal crank remover tool to come so that I can remove that guy. Okay, well actually I kind of ran out of time. I filmed a whole bunch and my fiance helped me film for the last half of it. You've only seen half of what happened but now I'm sitting there editing and I'm out of time and it's been two days so I gotta get a video up. I gotta get to physics class. Hopefully this physics class will help me realize where I'm making mistakes. Um, so <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day and I'm gonna post what I have. And just remember the reason I'm doing this is because mm, riding bicycles is really healthy and I take my health super serious. <sighs> Hang on. So it's important, you know, to do everything as healthy as you can and live a vibrant lifestyle that's clean and, and free from anything that's gonna, <sighs> mm, you know, detract from your quality of life and your health. Anyway, my beer's getting uh, warm, so I gotta get in and, and get psychologically prepared for physics class. Uh, when I get back, I'm gonna edit the video, 
that I have left and I'm going to post that too so it's not going to be very long until you see the rest of the battery pack and I wire up some other stuff with things. Um, yeah, peace, love, and waffles. Okay. One last thing. Um, it would be super awesome if people who are watching these videos could comment on them because the feedback is going to help guide me through this process and help me do this uh, successfully. So I would really appreciate any comments, even if you're just going to be trash talking me. It's okay. It doesn't bother me, but I mean, sometimes my feelings get hurt, you know, and I cry, but, but I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.